Hello. All right, we need to do some more 3D design. We're going to look at this other software that has some more features that are going to make things easier to do. So the software is from Autodesk, just like Tinkercad is, but it's called 123D Design, and it's in a folder called Apps. Maybe there's an icon on your desktop. So we come to Apps, 123D Design, and it opens up. It's got a lot of features, but I'm going to look at a few. First thing you want to do is change your grid. So down the bottom right, edit grid, and use a custom preset. Actually, we'll use a preset that they have. And we have Dremel printers here. So it changes the build plate, basically, to the size that we have. And you have a choice between millimeters, centimeters, and inches. Take your pick, but again, centimeters and millimeters are all base 10. Moves a little bit simpler, easier. Um, let's just, I'm going to just pick centimeters for now. So there is now the build, the design bed. It was larger this way. Um, other things you can do is this linear snap. This is kind of like if I use the arrow keys to move things, this is how far it's going to move. So if I'm in centimeters, it's going to move a 0.1 centimeter. Um, same thing for angular snap, but this is now angles when I rotate something. All right. So, top right, this is going to rotate your views so you can see all around. That's the first thing. There's a home that will reset to a basic angle view. Over here, we got some toolbars allows the pan. Pan means you're going to drag the bed back and forth. Orbit means you're going to spin around your object kind of thing. Magnify, um, fit to the square. Okay, that's about, you really don't need it. Oh, it's got a screenshot, which is also handy. Those are the main things there. Then up top are the tools you're really going to use. Undo is good to do, redo. Transform, when you got to move something or rotate something. Align is like when you want to center some things up. Um, scale to deal with, uh, scale something um, by hand kind of thing, like do it 90% the size or 110% the size. We're really not going to use a ruler to measure uh, nor smart rotate. But what you actually do is you start here with shapes. And you put shapes together and then we do some things to shapes and um, that's how we make objects. Sketching things, we can do a 2D sketch and then bring it up to 3D, lines or shapes. Construct is where we kind of bring things up. Modify is an important tool. Press pull, push it in, pull it out. Tweak it kind of is going to slide it, um, distort it at an angle. Split them things. These two are important, fillet and chamfer. Those are going to round things off or flatten things out. Those two are very important. So right now, the three most important things are get some shapes together and then modify them to round them out, flatten out some edges. The other really important tool is this magnet, snap. It's going to allow you to put two faces right next to each other. That was a problem we had when we made our puzzle piece that you had to slide the, the cube over to the other cube and try and line it up. This is going to snap it together. Um, you can put text on things, measure some things. Oh, the other important one, combine. And kind of like subtract or combine really merges things together. Subtract is going to merge them together, but it's going to cut out part. So again, primitives, get some shapes. You would want to modify them with the fillet or the chamfer. You would want to combine some things, probably even subtract some pieces, merge some pieces to get to really get them together, uh, and snap the faces together. Those are the important things. Primitives, snap faces together, combine them so that they subtract or they merge and then modify some edges with fillet and chamfer. We'll do some more.